Hey, hey friends, so today I'm going to show you a bit more about this code that we wrote on the previous lesson. I thought a bit about it and it doesn't seem that clear, so I want to exemplify it a bit better. So let's take a look at that. Who is the target? Let's get rid of this target here. The agent. Okay, and stop. Let's freeze everything. Now it can't move. Now we drag him closer to the wall and there we go. Okay, we see this zero being printed, right? So let's align the agent. Let's grab the rotation and paste it here. Okay, as you can see in the code, it's less or greater than zero. So the idea is this. What is this hit normal? If the value is smaller than zero, then you go to the left. If the value is greater than zero, you go to the right. You can see this is the value that is going up. So, what exactly is this hit normal? First, what is being hit? The whole game object. So, this whole cube here. Game object is being hit. But what face of this game object is being hit? So, Unity does have a system for that. So, it's not this face, not this face, not this face. <laughs> it's this face here that is being hit. And what angle is this face looking at. So, if the face is on this angle, it's going to get a value greater than zero, and the opposite if the if on the opposite direction. So, this is the idea, and is this absolutely perfect? No. Let me show you why. Say, when you are going against an object in this specific angle, the hit normal will tell you the way we made the system here to go to the left. And that is correct, right? But what if you are here, for example, you would have to go all this way here and turn around there, instead of just following this way here. So it is not perfect, it just follows the orientation of the face of the game object being hit by the raycast. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.